All right, you guys, well, it is the evening before goose opener here in North Dakota. And as you can see behind me, we have the Dive Bomb Industries High Vert and we are brushing this thing in, getting it ready for tomorrow morning. But before we get into today's video, I wanted to take just one minute and show you guys the Dive Bomb Industries High Vert blind that we are going to be using tomorrow morning. Like I said, this is the Dive Bomb Industries High Vert. And if you guys are subscribed to the channel, you know that we used this a lot last season and this thing worked absolutely flawlessly. This A-frame style blind can fit three very comfortably with plenty of room four still decently if you're using just guns but like you see us doing today we are going to be using bows so if you have three guys in here with bows and arrows and all your supplies this thing still has plenty of room to fit all of your gear one of my favorite features of this blind when we have the guns in the blind is the magnetic gun holders so you lean your barrel right up in that little magnet pocket and that holds your barrel nice and tight so you don't have guns sliding around inside the blind like you normally do on a any other a-frame also if you guys have dogs and your dog hunters this thing has dog doors on each side of the a-frame and you can unzip these suckers right here and your dog can uh, run in and out of the a-frame without going out the ends ruining all your stubble and uh, blowing the sides of the doors out of your a-frame but if you guys would like to check out the dive bomb industries hybrid blind for yourself and pick you one up make sure you guys go down in the description of this video and click on that dive bomb industries link now, when me and Colin stubble this in, you guys enjoy the video that I started filming yesterday, and then we're going to wrap right into tomorrow's hunt. I hope you guys enjoy. Well, it's finally the time that we have all been waiting for. Two days from now is early goose opener here in North Dakota, and I could not be more excited. But for the start of this video, we have a lot of stuff to prep and set up and get ready for early goose opener. So uh, right now we're gonna start by heading to good old Shields and old BW has to get his broken archery equipment ready for the season. Also, I bought a new bow that I'm super excited about. I got a new bow for shooting fingers that I'm going to show you guys in a little bit here once I shoot tonight. But first we have to get the Matthews V3 that's cluttered up in there fixed because my uh, rest string broke and I need it retied on. It's something very simple, but I do not have the tools with me right now to do that. Let's get it. Okay, my bad, I'll never say that again. I think this is a good trip for the old Escalade. We'll leave the old hunting rig at the farm today. Will it even start? Oh, jeez. John Lehman, that's something your tundra will never know about, man. Hey, what? What's Smokey doing back there? Hey, Smokey back here taking a shit. He's there. Well, I ain't gonna tell nobody else. Hey, who is that over there? Oh, that's the new with the bag. Oh. Oh. Dang, why this thing so packed in here? Watch, this is just my luck. Everybody's in here getting their bow rest fixed, I bet. And I just almost hit someone, but he should have watched where he was walking. They call me the wood wheel twister, because I be twisting the wood grain on this caddy wheel. Just kidding, nobody calls me that. All right, well, about an hour and a half later and 20 minutes after Shields closed, my bow finally got fixed. It was a huge pain because the string that was factory on that rest was a little bit too short after it came off of my bow. So they had to retie another piece of string onto the existing and loop it on. It's just like a temporary fix to get me by right now, which I could have just used my other bow, but since it's so early in the season and there's not gonna be a ton of opportunities, I'm guessing, on opening day, I figured I should probably have the bow with the sights on it in case they short stop us and I uh, have to fling a far one or something when they land so luckily for 20 bucks they tied a new string on it and I uh, retied that sucker up for me and now at least I can use the bow it doesn't look pretty but I can use the bow right out brother if you ride hey what you think you're doing fool Gotta fuel up the old scouting rig. Hmm. 
Let's go scouting. take the side by side this saved me a lot of walking just a pesky little doe on this camera hopefully that changes all right well I happen to have enough time this evening to head on out and uh, check a tree stand and then come over to the field that's kind of close so I'm gonna throw my long lens on my other camera and I'll try to give you a little look at what is going on here pretty much the scouting has been a little bit tough I have found a couple of bigger feeds but uh, this is the one field that I can post and uh, it's a for sure thing for opening morning the other field that I found that is a little bit bigger feed there's about hundred and thirty or hundred and forty geese on that and that is unposted and I I did hear that someone else was looking at that um, trying to hunt it so I'm gonna leave him be there's about 70 to 75 geese in this field not a crazy amount but enough for myself to hunt and uh, I think Sam from Mindac Outdoors is going to be joining me as well because I owe him and John a couple of lychee lychees so with that said let's get the long lens on and I'm gonna try to show you guys some of these geese out here well I know these geese are very hard to see in this black field right now but as you can see, one just flapped its wings, and they're they're really hugging that back tree line edge. They've been sitting about 20 to 4, 40 yards away from that, it looks to be. And uh, they're just hanging out on the back, back there. Little family groups that stretch all the way down that fence line. All right, well, I just got distracted talking to my boy Anders, and, uh, I mean, Durs, but these geese are still sitting in the field, and, uh, we have a plan to hunt this field with bows, so it is kind of close to the water, and that is fine for what I'm trying to do, because I'm gonna try to sit in that wood line you guys saw in the background, and we are going to set the high vert up, brush that sucker in nice and camo in there, and we're gonna try to do some sneak attacks on them with the bows and arrows. I did this a little bit last year, and you guys absolutely loved it the archery goose hunting videos so I'm bringing it back this year because that was the most enjoyable hunts that I had all season it was way more of an adrenaline rush and way more exciting to me and rewarding when we finally got a goose and I am all about that so we are going to be breaking the bows out again and we are going to be trying to see if we can get some with the bow trend truck of the year yep sure is daddy's money hey shout out to you for helping me thank you if you guys want to check out colin's channel that's going to be linked down below make sure you guys go check him out he'll have another separate video for opener and that i won't me i personally didn't find a feed so you'll see dustin and carter well either way just check him out just check me out he's put it in reverse terry put it in reverse terry want me to pin it hey what up down there now we're going back, bro. Yo, yo. 
All right, well, me and Colin just got the old A-frame all brushed in. I got two bags of decoys just thrown in the blind here, so everything's out in the field for the morning, and uh, we're gonna make it a lot easier because we won't have to brush or uh, set any of this stuff up. We're just gonna set the spread and get everything situated, and it should be nice and easy. But with that said, I'm gonna go home, try to get some sleep because it is already 11 o'clock at night, and we will see you all in the morning. What hey, up, brother? Do you smell the skunk? No, I no. don't smell skunk. No. Good. But I do smell you having to poop within the next 10 minutes because you got here about 10 minutes ago and it's kind of weird you haven't pooped yet. <laughs> I already got that out of my system. <laughs> Luckily, in a field or in an actual toilet? In an actual toilet. <laughs> I just remember last year, that's all you were doing <laughs> early season. Bro, change the diet, game changer. Eating healthy now. You want this? You want? We're good to go. Hey, right on, brother. <laughs> All right, well, as you can see, Samuel arrived to the field, and it is about 5.15. So we have about 45 minutes until legal shooting light. So we're going to walk out there, start setting stuff up, and we will talk to you guys once we are in the field. Hey, what's up, mother truckers? All right, well, me and Sam are just setting the spread here, and... The strat right now is just family groups, kind of keeping them about 15, 10 to 15 yards away from the A-frame. We don't want to get them too close to the A-frame when that thing's in the middle of the field because uh, they don't really like that. It doesn't look too natural. I think when they fly off the water, they're already going to be asking themselves, hey, how'd that massive 10 foot high weed patch already grow in the middle of the field? So I don't know how this is going to go, but they have been feeding in this field very inconsistent, honestly, on what they're doing, their patterns on the times they fly in here, where they're feeding, and how they're feeding. So last night they were all pretty much in one huge group together, and other times they've just been scattered out like typical early season birds, and they've just been in family groups all over this field. So I don't know what to expect this morning, but we're just throwing family groups. So if Sam pans over, you'll see that we have some family groups just scattered in here. Not too many decoys. and we're gonna keep it nice and simple. We're throwing about five dozen of the Dive Bomb V2FFs. These are the fully flocked Canada decoys, but with that said, we're gonna finish setting the spread up here, hop in the blind, get our bows ready, and uh, wait for these suckers to fly. I'm excited for this morning. Wow, wow, wee, wow, I have a chair, I have a chair. King of the castle, king of the castle. King in the castle, king in the castle. I have a chair, I have a chair. Oh, go do this, go do this, king in the castle. Wheeze on them. So, even if you guys aren't dog hunters, this door is good for something else. <laughs> yup, they still out there. You want this? You want? No, I'm good, thanks. You sure? I got two. How are you that tactical with a bow? Because <laughs> I'd be coming around the corners and draw it back. All right, well, me and Sam had a four-pack just silently sneak over the hill and fly right in here. And classic, they short-stopped us, imagine that. But me and Sam weren't ready anyways. I don't know how I set all this stuff up the evening before. So we're ready in the morning, and then we get out here an hour before shooting light or more, and somehow we're still not ready. That's just classic Mindac XBW collab stuff. So they're at about 120 yards, and I think I might take a whole flinger at them. As you can see, we got the arrows set up. We're just going to be running normal arrows with broadheads today, and then I have the Matthews V3 that I had in last year's bow video. So we're running sights today. And next time, 
I'm going to show you guys my new bow, and we'll be shooting instinctive, maybe some flu-flus. But with the situation today, we're going to be uh, running this setup. We're just going to wait this out, and hopefully we can get some more geese to come in and not shortstop us. They did not like that. What? 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 Be scared a little. Hmm. I had a funny feeling that it happened. You should have plugged it. Oh. Good GoPro, good. It literally has no power. How is it still doing that? Well, the last thing that I expected to happen today is happening right now. All the geese are literally flying straight out of the other side of the lake, and they're going to the only other field that got cut literally yesterday. And these geese fed in here last night, and somehow those geese know that that field got cut, and they're all flying to that field straight out the other side of the lake, not even coming this way. And we thought it was weird with that first flock that ended up flaring on us that they didn't come right over the hill and land straight in the field like they've been doing every other day, and why they kind of were flying up a different way through the field and so high and uh, just looking like they didn't want to land. Well, it's probably because... They wanted to go to that other field, and that's where every single other goose is going. So I'm not sure what's about to happen here, but this kind of sucks. Yeah, it's not very ideal, is it, Lucas? But, I mean, it's early season. They're geese. They do dumb things. And, well, I guess we should have brought the guns. <laughs> yep, we should have just burnt that one flock. <laughs> and classic. Another flock, probably one of the last flocks on the water, flying out the same way. Not good. Well, it was fun hunting with you, brother. Yup. See ya! Damn blue platers. I try to tell y'all time and time again, Escalades dominate the off-road game. Hey, what the beaver doing? <laughs> off-road nasty. All right, well, I just arrived back to the farmyard and I hate to say it, but it might be time to upgrade to a big pickup truck because this stuff's getting hard to fit in the Escalade. I don't know how much longer I can do it. This stuff is fine and the rest of my decoys usually, but the big stubbled A-frames, those never fit in there good. And they sure get my nice clean Escalade real dirty. That was a uh, not very eventful morning, but it was still a fun morning. If we can get geese on opening day to come close enough into gun range to us, I'm still going to count that as a win. Even though we had the bows and we did not get anything to land close enough to shoot at them with the bows, it was still a good morning. We made it out in the field. We got to see some geese. We had a few birds work us. I cannot complain at all about how this morning went. We got to get out for our first morning of opening day goose hunting, which I have been waiting for since last year. I just wanted to share this video with you guys because it was opening day. You guys have been waiting for the hunting content and not all hunts are awesome. Sometimes you go out and you have bad hunts or not successful hunts like the one we had today and I still want to share that with you guys because I know you guys love the hunting content. So I'm going to show you the good and the bad this year. I'm going to try to vlog and do whatever I can to get you guys hunting videos and hopefully those of you that didn't get to make it out this morning get to enjoy watching this even though 
we didn't shoot a goose. Let me know if you guys still enjoy the content where we don't shoot any geese or uh, if you guys only want to see the videos where we're on banger hunts. Wheat harvest is just about to start. We're going to start combining today actually. So I'm going to be very busy with farming and I'm going to try to get out and get you guys some content whenever I can. So let me know what you guys want to see and any video ideas you guys have for me. And with that said, that is going to wrap up today's video. See ya! Thank you.